your LSAT score does not define you. And it certainly says not that much about how you'll be as an attorney. Like we were saying, when you remove some of the numbers earlier, like you remove grades, the people skills, the interviewing, your resume, your real world experiences and accomplishments matter much more. And there are objective ways to analyze that as well, quite clearly. The LSAT skills do relate quite a bit to what you do in law school specifically, but how you do on a single standardized test that's largely entirely, at least the scored portions, multiple choice versus an exam that requires reading and writing and analysis. Those are quite different skills, of course. The mm -hmm. LSAT doesn't, has an unscored writing section that matters much less than the numbers. And I think that if they had a good way to critique people's writing ability on the LSAT writing sample and assign a numerical value to it the way they do on the SAT, for example, I think that would be great. And they just don't do it because they don't want to deal with having to grade thousands and thousands of essays. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.